Have you ever made two types of juice, decided to put them in one container, then try to figure out how much you had in the end? Or maybe you've gone on a grocery trip and tried to figure out how much meat the seller was weighing altogether. First, let us recall, what does a fraction mean? A fraction represents a part or parts of a whole. The numerator, or the number on top of a fraction, represents how many parts of the whole are being referred to. While the denominator, or the bottom number, represents how many parts one whole is cut up into. If we are to create an illustration of the fraction one-fifth, it will look like this. Now let's try adding one-fifth with two-fifths. As a number sentence, it looks like this. Since the denominators are the same, we just have to add the numerators. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Then, copy the denominator, which is 5. But what if the denominators are not the same? How can we add unlike fractions? Let's take a look at the fractions 1 half and 1 third. These two fractions have different denominators. We cannot just simply add different denominators since the parts have different sizes. So, what do we do? We have to cut up the fractions in a way that the parts are all of the same size. To do that, we have to find the least common multiple of the denominators, or simply put, the least common denominator, or LCD. Using the listing method, we quickly find out that the LCD of 2 and 3 is 6. That means the whole should be cut up into 6 parts. What used to be one half is now the same as three sixths, while one third is now the same as two sixths. Remember that these are equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions written differently but represent the same quantity. Without drawing, we can find the equivalent fractions by dividing the LCD by the denominator, then multiplying the result to the numerator. Earlier, we already identified that 6 is the LCD of 2 and 3. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So we have 3 sixths. For the other fraction, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So we have 2 sixths. Since we have the same denominator, we can now add the numerators first. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then, copy the denominator, which is 6. We get the sum 5 sixths. Simply put, since the fractions have the same denominator, we can just add the numerators and copy the denominator. So remember, when adding fractions with unlike or dissimilar denominators, we have to find equivalent fractions which share a least common denominator. So now, try practicing adding unlike or dissimilar fractions on your own. Good luck and see you on our next 3-minute lessons.